Something you expect me to wear? I need you looking fabulous. She could accomplish that in a potato sack, but a, a gown would work too, I'm sure. Hey everybody, and welcome to another movie night. I'm Jackie, and tonight I am watching James Bond Casino Royale. For reference, I have seen exactly one James Bond movie in my entire life, and that was Pierce Brosnan's Die Another Day. Don't ask me why. My guess is it's probably the one that came out that my brother and my dad watched, and I happened to be there for it. That being said, I have not seen it since it came out, so I have very little personal experience with James Bond. That being said, I do live in the world of pop culture, I went to film school, and my brother has been nagging me to watch these movies for a very long time. I cannot describe how excited he was when I told him I was watching this. I also know I have some guy friends in the UK that are probably just screaming right now, realizing that I lied to them for a very long time about having seen James Bond. <laughs> but I am really excited for this, and I figured the best place to start, considering there are so many James Bond films, would be to do the Daniel Craig films. So, I'm excited to finally be caught up on this huge chunk of pop culture, but also, guys, I've been waiting a very, very long time to wear these earrings, because one thing I do know about James Bond is he enjoys his martinis shaken, not stirred. I too enjoy a martini, gin, very dirty with lots of olives, hence why I have two giant olives on my arms right now. So I'm curious to see if we have our martini orders in common. If he's a vodka man, I don't know if we can get past that. But either way, you know the drill. Drop me a comment, let me know some of your favorite James Bond memories, publicly shame me for having not seen them, or you know what? Let me know your drink order. Are you a gin person? A vodka person? There is a correct answer. What is your go-to drink? And as always, redder is better. Don't forget to subscribe and on to Casino Royale. This is black and white. I'm going to assume that this is a flashback or a stylistic choice or something. Very film noir, like an old spy thriller. M really doesn't mind you earning a little money on the side, Dryden. M. Is M Judy Dench? I know there's M and Q, but I don't know which one is which. If M was so sure, I was bent. She just sent a double O. Oh is, oh, is he not 007 yet? Your file shows no kills, and it takes two. We barely got to know each other. Ha! <laughs> Bond isn't an idiot. I know where you keep your gun. <laughs> oh my god, he looks so young. How did he die? Your contact? Not well. <laughs> no, definitely not well. Very, very painfully. Well, there's one. Oh, let me guess, this guy that he's about to kill will be his second kill and then he'll become 007. The second is... Him! Call it! <laughs> okay, I'm guessing this was sort of their way of introducing him as the new Bond. It's kind of like the Doctor in Doctor Who, you have to have that sort of moment of acknowledging, like, we know it's a new face, we're gonna introduce him. <gasps> Ava Green is in this one! Okay, I knew she was a Bond girl. Oh, Mads Mikkelsen, my goodness. Who else is in this that I don't know about? I'm really excited. I love Ava Green. Is Mads Mikkelsen the bad guy, then, I'm assuming? <gasps> Jeffrey Wright is in this?! Oh my god! Judy, De Judy Dench is M. Okay, I was right. Alright, Judy Dench. What an icon. 007! That's clever. Officially confirmed as 007. Alright. That's a fun way to introduce him. I'm probably gonna make about 50 comments about how young Daniel Craig looks because I'm used to Benoit Blanc. <laughs> Aw, look at those blue eyes! Uganda, okay. Admittedly, my mind goes straight to Book of Mormon, but I don't think that's gonna be the style here. Mads Mikkelsen. I knew he was the bad guy. Oh, damn! Can I have some? You have an inhaler? Even bad guys have asthma. Do you believe in God, Mr. Lee? I believe in a reasonable rate of return. Charming. I have the money, so short another million shares of Skyfleet stock. You must know you're betting against the market. He knows something you don't. Is he paying them to do something that'll wreck the stock? It's like insider trading times a million. <laughs> Ellipses. Ellipsis? Code word for something? He's on the move. Stop touching your ear. <laughs> Rookie mistake. <gasps> Jesus! Oh, shirt! Oh, no! Bond's like, damn, now I gotta do it. Oh, that was cool. Some parkour in here. Jeez. <laughs> Slightly less graceful, but it's okay. What are you doing, Bond? What are you doing? 
That's one way to do it. Brute force, I love it. Yeah, this guy is definitely a professional free runner. At least whoever they hired to do it. Ooh, this guy's got stamina. Come on, Bond. Got your work cut out for you. Oh! <laughs> work smarter, not harder. <laughs> this guy's wearing himself out and Bond's just like, I'll take the elevator, that's fine. Oh, damn. Where do you think you're going, dude? Oh, shirt. It's a very precarious spot to have a fight, guys. Yeah, free runner. Parkour master. Whoever the stunt guy is for this. Mwah. That's impressive. Oh, oh, ouch. Was this the peak of parkour when everybody was just parkour this and parkour that? Oh, geez, he's getting the shirt kicked out of him. The combined cardio of these two men. <laughs> Now he's just showing off. <laughs> you guys can only go for so long. I don't care how good your cardio is. <laughs> yep, there we go. Oh, embassy. Seek refuge in the embassy. Oh, you gotta catch him before he gets inside. Once he's inside, you've lost him. Catch a ride. <laughs> yes, see, work smarter, not harder. Ouch. Wait, can he do this inside the embassy? Is that legal or does he get to work outside of legal means? Because I do know that 007 is licensed to kill. I have heard that before, but does that mean he works outside of the law? Oh! Everybody out of the way! Make a hole! Make a hole! Literally in the window! <laughs> James is wasting no time here. Oh my god, look at little baby face Daniel Craig. Oh! Oh! Dip! That's one way to cause a distraction. Did he shoot him somewhere non-vital? Oh, he lost him. I thought he needed him alive. Oh, he's bleeding out of his eye. That, oh, that's creepy. And the fact that he seems really unfazed by it is even creepier. Weeping blood comes merely from a derangement of the tear duct. Well, nothing sinister. It is sinister. I don't care what you say, that is sinister. Ah, uh, London. How bright and sunny you are today. Who the hell do they think they are? Is that Tobias Menzies? This is the funny thing about watching something years after the fact, is you see the people in the minor roles who now have much bigger careers. It's so funny to see them. Have you ever seen such a bunch of self-righteous ass covering <laughs> Judy Dench does not mince words. In the old days, if an agent did something that embarrassing, he'd have the good sense to defect. <laughs> to defect. He's fixing his mistake. He knows you screwed up, so he's fixing his mistake. Oh, they are going to focus on his blue eyes as often as they possibly can in this movie. They are beautiful, so I don't blame them. Dame Judy, an icon. He's sitting in her living room. Yep. <laughs> I thought M was a randomly assigned letter. I had no idea it stood for... Utter one more syllable and I'll have you killed. <laughs> the secret mate remains intact. Well, I understand double O's have a very short life expectancy. That makes sense. but arrogance and self-awareness seldom go hand in hand. She makes a good point, actually. Go and stick your head in the sand somewhere and think about your future. <laughs> the equivalent of go stand in the corner and think about what you've done. Looking dapper. Aston Martin. Is it an Aston Martin that James Bond drives? I mean, this is very obviously not an Aston Martin, but I think that's like the Bond car is an Aston Martin. Are we gonna see one of those eventually? <laughs> Subtle, really subtle. Damn, those blue eyes. Ooh, hello. I was here for dinner last night and I parked my car next to a very beautiful 1964 Aston Martin. It is an Aston Martin. He has a house just up the beach. Thank you. Who could say no to those blue eyes? Oh look, a hot girl in a bikini. Even I know to expect that in a James Bond movie. All right, all right. Well done, Daniel. Mmm. Oh boy. Never good when the boyfriend notices you noticing his hot girlfriend, wife, partner, companion. He's logged into our secure website using your name and password. Well, how the hell does he know these things? Because <laughs> he's good at his job. Cleaning up his own mess. Gotta appreciate that, actually. Now, known associates. He knows they can see it, though. He wants them to know what he's doing. Otherwise, he wouldn't have used her login. Ooh. Le chiffre. <laughs> That is not a martini. I feel betrayed. Come in. 
This is gonna end well. If that was for luck, you're two hours late. Oh, Dip. He seems great. I think they're really happy. This is on the table. That's my car. Wanna bet? Is this how he gets the Aston Martin? Three aces? Three aces! Ha ha! The only thing that could win. Oh, and the Valentine. ticket. <laughs> James Bond, you petty bitch. I love it. I'm afraid I'm not that cruel. Well, perhaps you just had a practice. <laughs> He's like, try. You can do it. I believe in you. Your place. Bold. Is it close? Very. One drink. It, it's not gonna just be a drink. Something tells me that James Bond and Aston Martin and a hot girl, it's not just gonna be one drink. <laughs> I did have that question. I'm like, hang on, isn't he staying there? Welcome to my home. That was funny. That was cute. He's so charming and so suave. It's your plan. All I did was get you the man. Did he straight up abandon his girl, girlfriend, wife at the casino? Wow. <sighs> one drink. Let's just come back for one drink. You like married women. Married, okay, his wife. That keeps them simple. <laughs> for you. Can I get a bottle of chilled Bollinger Cordonnet and the Beluga Caviar? No, for one. Smart. Don't leave a trail. Oh. Wait, what is happening right now? I am following none of this. This poor woman is just getting abandoned by every man. <laughs> At least he set her up nicely before he left. Leave her with some champagne and caviar. That's a drop. Oh! Please don't stab each other in the middle of a crowd. Like I didn't actually sleep with your wife. Oh! Oh, dip! Killed him in the middle of a crowd. Yep, it was a drop. You missed it. It was in the bag. Oh, a uniform. Like a TSA uniform? Because I think a bomb is about to go off and you do it now. Oh, dip! Sorry, can I put you on hold? I thought you might. Oh, oh! Is that the code? Oh! Okay. I would not have thought of that, but all right. Sure, cool. And we're back with the cardio. I did a lot of running for this movie. Uh-oh. Blinking lights and beeping noises are never, ever good in action movies, ever. Oh, Dib! Oh! Perfect timing! That was close. All right. Hang on tight, dude! <gasps> oh! Oh! Dip, that was close! So much running. That sounds terrible. Oh! Rude! This is just chaos. This is just pure chaos. No breaks. No breaks for you. Oh! Whew. Okay, that was close. That was really, really close. He must be really concussed right now. Oh! Yeah, well, that's that's kind of fair. They didn't know he was trying to stop it. <gasps> He's gonna blow it anyway. Oh! Yes! 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 Well done, James! Oh, that shirt-eating grin. <laughs> Only he would get arrested, and then the next morning get flown back to his resort. Is that a tracker or something? So you can keep an eye on me? Yep. Yes. It's so, like, you have a tendency to go rogue. I'd like to keep track of you. When the stocks hit bottom on 912, somebody made a fortune. Hmm. The same thing happened this morning with Skyfleet stock, or was supposed to. Yep, like insider trading on steroids. Has he been playing the stock market with his client's funds? Oh! I'm not going to be too happy when they find out it's gone. No. Quick interruption. Hi. I had to pause recording yesterday because we were having construction noise outside that was absolutely ruining my audio, so I had to pause. It is now the next day, and I'm picking up right where I left off, so I didn't skip ahead. Don't have to worry about any of that, but... It's why I look a little bit different. And I'm telling you this over a probably unnecessarily long video message because it breaks up the movie and helps me avoid copyright. Anyway, on with the movie. Here we go. I would ask you if you could remain emotionally detached. I think so. But I don't think that's your problem, is it, Bond? No. But then again, her making a very obvious comment about it leads me to think that is gonna become an issue. Foreshadowing. Ava Green! I'm the money. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Every penny of it. <laughs> Smooth. I suppose you've given some thought to the notion that if you lose, our government will have directly financed terrorism. Ah, no pressure. 
I like her already. Then you'll also know that in poker you never play your hand. You play the man across from you. Game theory. I know nothing about it, but I do know that's what it's called. Which is why I've been able to detect an undercurrent of sarcasm in your voice. Undercurrent? I don't think she's trying to hide her sarcasm, dude. What else can you surmise, Mr. Bond? I'm gonna have to get with Orphan. Okay. Wow. All right. Oh, challenge accepted. And since your first thought about me ran to Orphan, that's what I'd say you are. Oh, two can play this game. I like this poker thing. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Bond. Good evening, Miss Lind. There is a lot of tension in this room, and I like her. I like her a lot. <laughs> so does he. That was fun. I do hate it when religion comes between us. Religion and a security locked door. Oh my god, I love her so much. You're not my type. Smart. Single. No emotional attachments. Lord. Is this going to be an enemies to lovers thing? Is that what's going to happen here? Because I'm here for it. Also, I just really enjoy how snarky she is. What's your name, sir? James Bond. You'll find the uh, reservation under beach. What? I thought you were supposed to be undercover, sir. And now he knows something about you. He knows you're reckless. Touche. She's so done with him. Take like the next one. There isn't enough room for me and your ego. <laughs> I love her. And Aston Martin. Of course. A new one, though. I kind of like having the old one and the new one in this movie because it shows the transition, the update to the new Bond. It's very symbolic. I love you too, Ed. <laughs> Especially when she gives you fancy gifts. It is a beautiful car. I'd love to drive one one day. I'm sorry, Daniel Craig looks so much like a friend of mine from high school, I can't unsee it. I thought about it last night, I'm like, why does he look so familiar? It's tripping me out so much right now. Something you expect me to wear? Hmm. I need you looking fabulous, so that when you walk up behind me and kiss me on the neck, the players across from me will be thinking about your neckline and not about their cards. She could accomplish that in a potato sack, but a, a gown would work too, I'm sure. Did she? I have a dinner jacket. <laughs> and I need you looking like a man who belongs at that table. Two can play this game. <laughs> I sized you up the moment we met. Damn right she did. Oh, she's good. I love her. She's got good taste too. She's got a great eye. <laughs> Even he's like, damn it. I can't be upset about this. There he is. <coughs> Jeffrey Wright. Six letters or more. Ellipsis? Aston Martin? Martini? Hmm. Mm. Is that his tell? I know a lot of poker players wear like sunglasses or have different ways of trying to hide their tells when they're playing. We watched a lot of World Series of Poker when I was younger. Why aren't you supposed to enter so the others could see you? Was I? Forgive me. Oh, she doesn't like following orders. Still made quite an entrance, though. Is your Bond? <laughs> I think it distracted him more than the other players. Bond's feeling pretty confident right now. Hmm. Fold. Did he do that on purpose? Is he trying to figure out? Oh, I bet he lost because he's trying to figure out his tell. Dry martini. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of quinoa lily, shake it over rice, and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. Vodka. I am a little bit disappointed though. He's a vodka man. I prefer my martinis. Gin, very, very dirty with lots of olives. <sighs> I don't know if we can overcome this. I had to take my martini earrings off because I get bopping against my earbud. It's driving me crazy. But anyway, he's a vodka man. <sighs> it makes me sad. Is the inhaler going to come into play somewhere, or is he just genuinely asthmatic? Because Chekhov's inhaler? It was worth it to discover his talent. Yes, I was right. I don't know anything about chess. But I do know that there are, like, end games and there are versions where you sacrifice something to win bigger. I think that's what he just did. He made a small sacrifice early on to win bigger later. Ah, he put the tracker in the inhaler. But he left the inhaler. He didn't take it with him. I'm so sorry. Oh, shirt! Oh, dick! Where is my money? Oh, yeah, you lost a lot of money. Those don't seem like the kind of people to let that go. Go to the room. Wait for me there. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't want to be here for this. <laughs> oh, earwig. Earwig. Oh, shirt! Was a good effort, your little Steve Rogers, Natasha Romanoff thing there. 
Big knife, big knife. One brought a gun to a knife fight and then he lost it. Oh my God. Just flying down the stairs, huh? Why are all these doors locked? Oh my God, he's slicing up his jacket. <laughs> Good thing he has a spare. Seriously though, why are all the doors locked? That seems very unsafe. That is a fire hazard right there. There's the gun to the knife fight. Oh no, 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 Yeah, 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 go girl, go. Add a girl, add a girl, Vesper. Go find Matthews, tell him I've hidden the bodies down here and I want him to get rid of them. Do that now, go, go, go! She looks like she's in shock, which is understandable, considering, you know, you witness two people get murdered, whether it's justified or not. That's a lot. Oh. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's a fair response to what just happened. Hmm. I liked that moment. Him having to literally chug a drink and, and look at himself in the mirror after what he just did. It's very humanizing. It's a nice, subtle little moment. I liked that. But I won't consider myself to be in trouble until I start weeping blood. Oh, shots fired. Oh, that's not good. What happened? Oh, yep. She's in shock. That's understandable. Aww. James Bond has a softer side. Hmm. Actually really sweet in this moment. Aww. Aww. This is really sweet. I didn't expect a moment like this. I really like this following the scene of him just kind of feeling the weight of what he did. I don't know. I like that. How's our girl? melted your cold heart yet. A little bit, actually. You have no idea. Ah, uh, uh. I hate eyeballs. I really, really, really hate eyeballs. As pretty as some of them are. Ugh. Bleeding out of one is just gross. Ugh. Hmm. This is a lot of tension. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it has to get worse before it gets better. There's very tense music playing. I'm very nervous. Uh, yeah, I'm Ava Green right now. I'm really nervous. It's four checks. Monsieur Le Chiffre wins. Oh, dip. Yep, yep. It had to get worse before it got better. Oh, he's pissed. <laughs> he's pissed. Understandably. Oh, she's pissed too. <laughs> Understandably. It's her money, kind of. Welcome, Martini. Chicken or stirred? Do I look like I give a damn? <laughs> That's how you know he's pissed, he doesn't care. That's how you know it's bad. Even I know that James Bond likes his martinis shaken, not stirred. The whole world knows that. Oh God, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna make a mess, aren't you? Oh no. Felix Leiter, a brother from Langley. Langley, FBI, CIA. Just one thing, if you pull it off, the CIA bring him in. CIA, <laughs> you do the work and we get the credit. He's got a lot of ground to make up. Raise. Ooh, and he has. Look at him go. Ooh, oh, she just roofie him? What was that? Uh-oh. Bad music. Suspense music. Oh, shirt. Yep, she roofied him. Or something. Oh! Oh, honey, you don't look so good. Like a shot of adrenaline or something? Oh, 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 I hate needles. I hate needles. Oh. Bond's being poisoned. He's going into cardiac arrest. Oh, sure. That was not a roofie. Oh, dip. Bond, push the damn button. I Do am. it now. Oh, my God. Always make sure it's plugged in. Oh, oh, shirt. Ah. Come on, girl. Add a girl. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the nick of time. Whew. All right. You can breathe. You okay? Me? <laughs> Says the man who almost died. I'll get yourself off to hospital. As soon as I've won this game. Seriously? Yep, gotta finish the game. Doesn't matter if you almost died. I'm sorry. That last hand nearly killed me. <laughs> James Bond is punny. I'm not upset about it. Especially when it makes Mr. Mads Mickelson upset. Foiled again. 40 million 500,000 all in. Jesus! <laughs> Please be right this time. Please be right this time. A straight flush. Straight flush! Highest cards don't always win. Highest hand does. Well done, Bond. Congratulations. 
You know, mm -hmm. I think the celebration's in order. You were almost dead an hour ago. All the more reason. Come on, I'm famished. I imagine cardiac arrest would do that to you. Takes up a lot of energy. Gotta refuel. You know, I think I'll call that a Vespa. What? Because of the bitter aftertaste. <laughs> because once you've tasted it, that's all you want to drink. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that was quite a good line. It was a very good line. That was. Credit where credit's due. But you're laughing at it. Not so much it as you. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> I think he's smitten. He named a drink after her. He's a very lucky man. Are you jealous, Bond? It doesn't bother you killing those people. Well, I wouldn't be very good at my job if it did. True, but it does bother him. He'd be an actually true sociopath if it didn't. I liked the scene earlier of them actually showing us that it did bother him. Congratulations again. <laughs> Hate to see you leave, but I love to watch you go. What he's thinking right now. Because he's in love. Mathis. Wait, what? What about Mathis? Something bad? What? Oh god, is Mathis a double agent or something? Oh, shirt! Yep, yep. Mathis is a bad guy. Damn it, Mathis is a bad guy! Oh, honey. I know your cardio is good, but even you can't outrun a car. Ah, but your Aston Martin can. Ooh. Oh, shit! Oh my god! Oh! Dip! Oh! Oh, that beautiful car! And that beautiful man. Because he hasn't been beat up enough tonight. Has no idea! I'm afraid your friend Mathis is really my friend Mathis. Boo! Why? Oh, my sweet summer child. Oh! Well, that can't be good. This is bad. This is very, very bad. Didn't he play Hannibal Lecter? It was Hannibal, right? I never saw it, but I think, I think he was Hannibal. Interesting. You've taken good care of you, buddy. And that's a little creepy coming from the guy who plays Hannibal. Such a waste. Again, creepy coming from the guy who plays Hannibal. What are you doing? Oh, shirt. Oh, oh, the hollowed out chair. Enjoy. There will be little left to identify you as a man. Okay, Hannibal. <laughs> He's not gonna give it to you. He's too damn stubborn. I've got a little itch down there. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no, to the right. Oh my, oh my god. I mean, oh Jesus. You gotta use humor to cope sometimes. Y you gotta get through it however you can. Dark humor, gallows humor. You know. Ugh. Oh! Seriously, dude. That should be an unnecessary roughness foul. I'll feed you what you seem not to value. Hannibal! Seriously! <laughs> Who's this dude? Money isn't as valuable to our organization as knowing who to trust. <gasps> oh, dip! And the moral of the story, be careful who you borrow money from. Ha! Huh. Okay. Please tell me he's in the hospital. Please, this man needs to be in a hospital. Yep, he's in a hospital, okay, good. But is it a good hospital, is he safe? There's a huge difference between being in a hospital and being safe. Aw, the first thing he says. First thing he wants to see when he wakes up. Oh, no, 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 shoot, shoot, get out, get out. You snitch. And I'm supposed to get you to drink this. Oh, don't take any drinks from anyone anymore at this point, please don't. Help us. I'll help you. Yeah! Hang on. Oh! Yes! Yes! Ha! Ha! Snitches! Sucks to suck. That was satisfying. <laughs> mm. Nice way to wake up. This is adorable. Hello? Mm. Perfect timing. Way to ruin the mood, dude. Read the room! You didn't bring any chocolates with you. I'm afraid not. <laughs> You never visit someone in the hospital without bringing a gift. Though to be fair, I guess 120 million or ho however much money this is, I guess that counts as a gift. Not gonna complain about that. I'd take that over chocolates, buy my own chocolates. V E S P E R. Oh my God, this man is smitten. Oh my Lord. He's a romantic. I can honestly say I did not picture James Bond as a romantic. 
everything I've ever heard about him, all the stereotypes, I never ever pictured him as a romantic. You're not going to let me in there, are you? You've got your armor back on. Aww. I have no armor left. You stripped it from me. Whatever is left of me, whatever I am, I'm yours. Oh my god. James Bond is a romantic, and James Bond is in love. I can honestly say that was not on my bingo card. I did not expect that to happen. All I've ever known about James Bond is that he's a womanizing secret agent. Martinis and womanizing. And Aston Martins. That one, I did know. Oh my god! This is really sweet! <laughs> oh my god! Remember I told you about Le Chief Tell? Well, math is totally sheep. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Does everyone have a tell? Hmm. Everyone except you. Oh no. I wonder if that's why I love you. Oh, shirt. You do what I do for too long, and there won't be any soul left to salvage. Aww. I'm leaving with what little I have left. Aww. Is that enough for you? Oh my god! James Bond the Romantic is in love! And I don't trust it for one second. No. One, because he has, what, four more movies where he's 007, so he obviously doesn't quit, but this is also really, really happy right now, which is very sweet, but we still have, what, 20 minutes left of the movie? I don't trust this. I don't trust this. It's too happy. Ah, uh, oh, it's too nice. It's too sweet. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Uh. Short, sweet, and to the point. I'll get the money. You get supplies. <laughs> oh my god, this is adorable. I don't trust it. It's making me really, really nervous. Aww. I'll see you back here in half an hour. No, you won't. No, you won't. Does she double cross him? Or does she get killed or kidnapped? Or who are we missing? Or something? Something bad's gonna happen. Right now, I have a lovely man from the treasury here. Wondering if you're ever going to deposit the winnings. Oh, sure. She double crossed him. She double crossed him. <sighs> Damn it. But did she double cross him or was she coerced? Like what what happened? Because either she's been lying to him this whole time and is a way better actress than I give her credit for, not Ava Green, obviously, Vesper. Or she got tricked or or kidnapped or coerced in some way. I mean either way, shirt. And we didn't have a proper climax. We haven't had the the final shootout, final climactic fight yet. Ooh, red dress, red dress. Oh dip. Oh dip. Yep. Climactic fight. Have to have it. Ooh! Yep, let's just cause more chaos. Cause more chaos. That'll do it. Ah! Oh, dip. Oh, is she locked in the elevator? Jesus! Just bring the whole building down, why don't you? Oh, oh, there goes the money. There goes the money. Bon voyage. Bye bye, money. Is that a nail gun? I mean, use what's around, I guess. <gasps> Nail gun. Yep. Very effective. Very effective. Oh, shirt. He's still gonna get her out. He hates her right now, but he's still gonna get her out. I'm sorry, James. I think she means it. Did she just lock herself in? What? <gasps> Is she trying to kill herself? Because that would be dark. Like, really, really dark. What? <gasps> Is she literally trying to kill herself? No! This went from romantic to romantic tragedy really, really fast. Oh my god. Well, that was dark. Oh my god. Oh, and then there's this asshole. What do you want? Oh my god. Got the money. <sighs> That's really sad. She had a boyfriend. He was kidnapped by the organization behind Le Chiffre. Oh, uh, yeah. Sometimes we're so focused on our enemies, we forget to watch our friends. That does make me feel a little bit better that she didn't just lie to him the entire time. I mean, she did lie to him the entire time and betray him, but it wasn't because she was actually evil. She was being blackmailed. Oh, oh, that sucks. She must have known I'd check it. She's a smart woman. She knew you were you. Yeah. She'd leave him a clue or something. You don't trust anyone, do you, James? No. no. Then you've learnt your lesson. Ouch. It's a hard learned lesson. Did you ever ask yourself why you weren't killed that night? It's a good question. Isn't it obvious? She made a deal to spare your life in exchange for the money. Oh, uh, I think she did love him. I think she really did. 
Did she kill herself though? Was it guilt over betraying him or losing her boyfriend? Was it guilt over both maybe? Or she just couldn't live with herself? Because her actually killing herself and wanting to die, that was dark. That wasn't just tragic, like I got trapped and he couldn't save her kind of dark. That was dark. Went from romantic to romantic tragedy so fast. Mr. White. Was that the guy that ran away with the money? That got the money? Yeah, it's this dude. It's this dude, I bet it's this dude. Hello? Mr. White, we need to talk. Who is this? Oh, shirt! Talk, he says. We need to talk. That's that's not how most people start a conversation. <laughs> this is the Bond music. I recognize the Bond music. Then there's Bond. Three-piece suit and a machine gun. That's how I picture James Bond. The name's Bond. James, James Bond. Bond. I get it now. This was the origin story. Like, I thought that opening scene was sort of their way of establishing that he's the new James Bond because kind of like on something like Doctor Who, when you regenerate a character, <laughs> regenerate, when you recast a character, you kind of have to establish, okay, this is the new version, this is who he is or they are, and this is the tone for the new version. I didn't realize this film itself was going to be an origin story because that's very much how it feels. Like we started with him becoming 007 and then we ended with him, Bond, James Bond, the very iconic moment. This, I feel like, was him becoming James Bond. And it makes a lot of sense because this is him in the early days. This is him, she, M literally said, he learned his lesson. This was the origin of his falling in love and being betrayed and having that weight and now mistrust that will, I imagine, lead into the rest of the movies and kind of set the stage for him never having a long-term love interest, having the different woman every movie. I imagine that's kind of how they're leading into this version of it, because I do know that stereotype. Again, everybody knows James Bond is 007, womanizing Bond, James Bond drinks martinis, etc. We all know the, the sort of tropes of the movies. But this, yeah, this definitely felt like an origin story, and even his the origin of his drink, like the, the martini and him saying, oh, I don't care if it's shaken or stirred at this point. Like, this is him becoming Bond. He hasn't quite established all of those markers that we know James Bond to have. So I enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed this more than I thought I would. And I didn't go into this thinking that I wouldn't enjoy it. But from my own personal experience with James Bond, the one film I've seen was Pierce Brosnan and all of the sort of mythology surrounding James Bond. I expected it to be kind of campy. I, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. I didn't expect it to be as grounded as it was or for him to be quite as human as he was. I kind of just expected him to be, I don't know, G.I. Joe in a suit, for lack of a better way to put it. That whole separate your emotions, etc. Like, I didn't expect to get quite the human version of James Bond that we got in this movie. And I enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. And I don't know if that's a Daniel Craig thing. I don't know if that's something I just missed because I haven't seen the entire franchise and maybe the one that I saw, I just didn't see it because I was young or something. I don't know. I'd be really curious to know, is that is James Bond actually a lot more human than I thought he was or is that a Daniel Craig thing? But either way, I'm actually really looking forward to the rest of the movies now. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing more and I get what the hype is about. I get why it's a pop culture phenomenon and why James Bond is who James Bond is. But yeah, I feel like I've said this several times, but I just enjoyed this a lot more than I expected to. So I would like to do the rest of the movies. And if you want me to, you guys know the drill. Don't forget to like this video because it helps me out and drop me a comment. Who is your favorite James Bond? Which is your favorite James Bond film? Do you like Daniel Craig? What are some of your favorite James Bond memories? I'd love to hear. And redder is better. Hit what used to be a big red subscribe button is now sadly a big black subscribe button, but I'm gonna continue to say hit the big red subscribe button until they bring the big red subscribe button back. So redder is better, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. And on that cherry bombshell, I will see you guys next week. Bye.